Hi and welcome back again to Bloxy. In this video, we will take a close look at how our footer builder works inside of Bloxy. With our customization features, you have unlimited possibilities in what can be achieved for your footer design. With features such as the widget areas, the sky is the limit when it comes to arranging important footnotes. Let's start working on our footer. Navigate to the Bloxy customizer, then choose the footer section. Here we are presented with our elements, ready to be dragged and arranged in our footer area. One note we'd like to make before we continue is that some elements are only available with our Bloxy Premium subscription. So if you don't see an option on your setup, you may need to upgrade your license. Working with the builder is super easy. Simply drag and drop the element of your choice in one of the designated areas on the right. It automatically arranges and snaps in place. Continue by adding some more elements and great. Notice that we've added some standalone elements and some widget areas. Widget areas are great because combined with the new widget block editor, your creativity is unleashed. Notice that if we click on any of the elements in our footer, we're presented with more customization options on the left. This will let you adjust the smallest of details, such as colors, font sizes, and more. Now let's move on to the interesting part, the widget areas. These areas are super duper nice because you can place any Gutenberg block you might think of inside of them. By clicking on one of the areas, you're presented with a slimmed down view of the Gutenberg editor. Clicking on the plus sign will display the normal Gutenberg gallery with all your Gutenberg add-ons available. And on a side note, you can always take advantage of the old widget system by inserting the legacy widget block. This is helpful in case you have some third-party plugins that haven't been updated to support the new system just yet. But wait, there's more. Notice how our footer rows are already split into multiple columns. You can easily control these options by clicking on the Row Settings button. You will be presented with options to choose the number of columns for that specific row, the layout of the columns, and that is handy in case you wish to have some areas larger than others, and of course, spacing options. And you can also switch to the Design tab to control things such as colors, fonts, and divider options. And if you've thought we're done, think again. We still have one little special bonus feature for you. It's called the footer reveal effect. And when enabled, your footer will slowly reveal itself as the user scrolls down the page. Looks pretty awesome. Conditional footers. Using conditional footers is very simple. This function will let you create a different footer and assign it using our conditional dialog box. Let's jump back to the footers menu and create a new one. Click on the Create New Footer button and a new dialog box will appear letting you label your new footer and even clone the elements from an already created footer. For our demonstration, we will clone the current footer and slim down the new one for our homepage. With the cloning successful, you can click inside the footer to reveal its options. The Edit Conditions box will let you assign this footer to whatever part of the website you might wish, such as pages, archives, posts, or even by choosing user conditions, such as if a user is logged in or not. And that's it. We can now preview our new footer on the home page, and on the other pages, we can see the normal footer. And that's a wrap. We hope our video has helped explain how our footer builder works. In case you run into any hiccups, feel free to drop us a line at creativethemes.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. Until next time.